Over the past months, AI art has been blowing up. And it seemed like every day a new AI art generator popped up who could do things that the previous one could not do. What I'm about to show you will blow your mind and it will keep you occupied for the next days because you don't want to stop creating AI art in this new way. Leonardo AI is the hottest thing on the AI market right now. It creates super nice AI art images. The first tool that we're gonna use is called the AI Canvas. You see it on the left here next to the user tools and it's still in beta, but it's pretty amazing what you can do with this. Once I click on this, you can see that you are in an editor. So what can we do in this AI Canvas and why is it so crazy? You can either upload the image from a computer, from previous generations or from the community. So I can just go to community and select any image that I want. I found this image that I want to use in the AI canvas. And what you have to do is make sure that you copy the whole prompt. So these are the prompt details. I'm just going to copy it. And you can click on these three dots right here and press edit in canvas. So now it opens the canvas and you can scroll out and make this image a bit smaller. And what you see here, this is the block that will generate new art. So here in the bottom, you add the prompt that you copied. So that's always the same as the image that you created. And now I select this area, make sure snap is on so it stays in the grid. You want half of the box, maybe even more, maybe three fourths in here. And now I can press generate. So this is the image I have right now. And I'm thinking maybe I want the image a bit wider. I want to have a bit extra space. And look, just as fast as that, now we have extra. Now the image got extended by this much. And in the bottom, you see it's one and four. So I can click through it. I can select different kinds of generations. And I am liking this one. So I can press accept. And now I can go pull my block and I'm gonna do it to the top and generate. And like this, you can expand your images and change your images in a way that was not possible before. It's super fun. And now I'm building out this whole building on the right. So I can go change a couple more. I like this one that you can see the skyscrapers in the back. So accept. Now the image turned into a square while we started as a narrow image. And that's just the first thing what this does. It's pretty amazing. And on the right, you can select the size. So if I do 1024, 1024, you will see that it gets really big, the square. And also it will take more of my tokens. So it will take five tokens instead of the one that it uses for this square. But I can go for a medium size, 728. Seems like the whole size. Just make sure that you have a big part of the image in there. And honestly, it's, it's so much fun to go with this because it's a new way of creating AI art. Instead of just typing a prompt and you get the image, you can actually expand on the image that you already generated. So this is really nice. This became like a nice tower. And yeah, it's not always a perfect hit. It is in beta still. You can see that it really does some impressive stuff. I like the first one. And now this whole image, it just became like another world, you know, it changed completely and I see much more of the city than I got before. What you can do then is download the artwork. And now I have my artwork right here of the whole image. And of course you have to make sure that the edges are correct when you do this. But this is just something I've never seen before and so fun to use. What's going to happen now is just something insane that I haven't seen before. And I think you will be really surprised. So we want to blend these two images together. So first we're going to add the prompt here and we're going to get the eraser because we want to add them together so they don't need this whole edge. They just need what we want to blend together. And we want to add them together in the same desert. And you can change the size of the eraser here on the right. So let me do that here. Okay, so now we have the two images here together. You can select one and make it smaller if you want, if they are not the correct size. And you see, I have these two right here and I have my prompt and I'm gonna press generate. And now truly we're gonna get some magic. This is gonna blow your mind. So that's the same prompt as it used to create these two images. And look what we get now. The images get blend together by some new filling. And honestly, this one I like the least, but they are quite good. This one, I think the last one, this one I really like. And press accept. And look at that. Now the image suddenly becomes bigger. So I'm gonna add this to the right. Generate. Tell me, did you ever see something like this? 
that you can keep going and keep adding things and keep changing images is just so cool. If you want the background for a white computer, for instance, you can really go crazy and create your own stuff. So I can just go select some things. I think this is really fitting. And I'm gonna just select the box and do it one time on the right, generate. And now it's just so seamless, like this two were one image, but it is not. We did this, you know, just by moving it around, adding some prompts, we got some crazy stuff. This one looks pretty good, except. And look, look at this image. This looks, this just looks amazing. I mean, how cool is this? I can honestly not believe myself that I'm doing this and that it's working out. And what we can do even is if we want to do a bit more to the right, we can do isometric scene desert. And I'm gonna add something with a uh, broken down car generate. So we can add something like we want ourselves to this image. I've never done anything like this. I'm surprised. Okay, this car didn't fit well. This car. So yeah, you have to, you have to play around a bit, but you can create things that are just so insane. I mean, let me take this. Look at this image. It's like some art and it feels it feels different than just using AI art generator, typing a prompt and getting something, than to really use this and making it your own and adding, adding a bit to the left and right is truly something amazing. And you can just download it here. Now I have this image, I can run it through an upscaler and I have my own homemade background. And it's just amazing. And I really want you to all to try it out. But of course, you can also use this for portraits. So I want to go to upload image from previous generation. So this is images that I created. And I have here a female version of the Terminator. The only thing you have to do is to make sure that you have the right prompt to edit the image. This is my own image. So I will go back to the personal feed. And here I go down to this one and I can copy the prompt. So I have it. And this is maybe an easier way because now I can just press right click and edit in canvas. And then it's in the canvas and I really have the prompt right here that I paste right here, snap is on. So the first thing of this image, I want to have a bit of the top of her head because it is cut a bit too low. So I can just press generate. And now you see that, okay, we got the top and they finished the image a bit there. It's not always good. I like this, I like the second one. No, I like the last one. So accept. And now I can do the box a bit to the right. Generate this last little bit in the right. And like this, now we have a full portrait, like it's nothing, you know? We first had the half image and now we just generate it way more. Maybe I want to have a bit more space on the right side. And sometimes it does some, some weird things because the prompt, of course, is still portrait of Terminator. So I'm gonna just take the portrait part. Then the AI knows, ah, we don't want a new person in the image. And this one is the most, uh, this one is the best. So let me just add this one, generate one more. Just try to fill in the whole image. And actually we can do something else with this tool that is just crazy. That is just really something, again, I have not seen before. So look at this, so this was the image I had before. And now we turn it out to a huge image that has way more details surrounding it. But there is something else that we can do. And that's on the left, we can go to draw mask. You can select the size and you can select a certain part that you want to edit and then i'm gonna add portrait of a terminator with purple lipstick so you want to change a certain part in the image then make sure that you put the mask type it in the prompt and the square the edit square is on top of it i can tell you that you don't want to stop with this tool you just want to keep going and keep changing your images okay they're not purple but this one look good so now she has other lips that was all that I wanted to show today. Once you try it out, I guarantee you, you cannot stop and you don't want to stop until your tokens run out. I made a video about Leonardo before that shows you how to start, how to set it up. You can see that right here. And I made another video that shows how you can create your own AI art model in Leonardo. You can watch that there. And otherwise, I see you next time.